Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Beta and this is The Simple Budget. Here on my channel, I show you how my family uses the zero-based budgeting method in order to simplify our financial life. So if that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and hang out with me for a while. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to um, thank you all so much for subscribing. Um, we hit 500 subscribers at some point, I think over the weekend or maybe late last week, something like that. And we've even increased since then. So I'm just so blown away by all of your support and for just all of the comments and follows and likes and all of that. It's just completely overwhelming and I'm so grateful to all of you for following along. I know that it's probably a little bit like um, subscribing to a train wreck, but um, just because of the amount of debt that we have to pay off still. But I hope that um, you'll see um, you'll be inspired by this and you'll see, you know, at the end of our March update, the first quarter update um, for our debt, you'll be inspired that, you know, if you really do stick to your budget, stick to your budgeting methods and enact some discipline, and I'm the one who needs the discipline, um, that you really can achieve your financial goals, especially when it comes to paying off debt. So, um, thank you again so much for subscribing and um, let's just go ahead and get into the cash stuffing. That's why I have this wad of cash sitting in front of me right now. But what I'm gonna do is um, count it first and then we'll go ahead and get into the stuffing. So um, let's, oh gosh, okay, this is not gonna, this is not gonna jive with my, with my OCD, my desire to have everything perfect. So bear with me because I am going to go ahead and flip all of this around to make sure that it's in the correct direction. So um, I'm stuffing 1,200 today. So let's just go ahead and give this a count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh my goodness, nine and 10. And I'm gonna have to order all of this, aren't I? Oh my goodness. They were really not trying to put it in order and honor my OCD tendencies. Okay, here we go. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 50, and fives. And grandma tens, are they in order? Are faced in the same direction? Oh my goodness, look at that. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. Nope, I lied. Oh man, they gave me like a sliced flim flimsy one. Let's start this over again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Look, they're stuck together. 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And then on to 20s. I think they're all, yes, they're all in the same direction. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So 240 and 20s. Let's grab our 50s here. Five, oh my goodness, five. I was gonna count by fives, guys. 51, 52, 53. And then finally our 100s, one, two, three, four, and five. So that is $1,200. And I'm gonna put the 100s with my um, placeholders here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually get started um, in my high priority sinking funds. And we will, I'll just move this guy off to the side. So we all know, these binders are trying to play us. So here we go. 
first up in groceries. And also just so you know, I'm going to fill out my cash trackers off camera. It's not something that I really feel is necessary to bore all of you with. Let me just make sure I'm in frame. I'm in frame. Okay, here we go. So groceries um, is gonna get a funky number to all of you guys, but trust me, the math works out. I had to uh, account for online purchases and things like that prior to the first cash stuffing. So groceries is getting a total of $418. This accounts for, by the way, all of the stuffing for today accounts for um, some of the rollover, because if you watched my last video, um, how we prepared for cash stuffing, we've been just using an Excel spreadsheet for the last couple of months and treating it as if like we're, we've been doing a zero based budget for the last couple of months. And so we've been treating this as if we were going to cash stuff. So that's why some of these numbers will also seem kind of wonky to you guys, because we are rolling over. I'm going to be stuffing the rollover that we've had that was just in our account that we treated as if we were cash stuffing. So that's why some of these numbers are going to be wonky too. So again, groceries is going to be getting $418. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen. That is how I set that up. And there we go. Okay. On to taxes. Now taxes is actually where we're going to be putting some placeholders. So we actually have um, 1,500 in the bank already that is just kind of hanging out there waiting for tax season to fall upon us. We're not really 100% sure if this is going to be accurate, but um, it's better for us to hold the money in an account rather than letting the government hold on to it for us and we don't get to take advantage of whatever interest that we can earn on it in our high yield savings. So it's 1500 in the bank, but then also I'm stuffing uh, 45 today. So 20, 45. So it's uh, $1,545 total in taxes. Oh, don't be tricky. Okay, there we go. Um, our HOA is not um, getting anything this month. Um, we're gonna hold off on this for a couple of months while we sort out some things. That's not really relevant to you, but just so you know. Um, medical is going to be getting 100 and that's the total in there because this is my very first cash stuffing. Car expenses is going to be getting $83. And again, I know that's weird, but it includes rollover from money that we've been, um, budgeting, but this is my very first cash stuffing. I mean, how many times am I going to say that today? So 50, 60, 70, 80, one, two, and three. I mean, how much am I going to struggle to get these? I made these envelopes, so there's really nobody to blame for if it doesn't work out by myself, um, but I think we're doing okay. Okay. Um, home maintenance is going to be getting let me see, let me see, $50 today. And that is just a 50. We bought a new house over the summer and so I doubt that we will, I, well, actually I don't doubt, um, but I'm hoping that we won't have to pull from this and so we can get a nice little build up before, knock on wood, something were to happen. Um, household, where, what do we see, okay. I actually have uh, 20 going into household today. And this is just, um, again, I addressed this in my binder setup, um, but this is gonna be for things like laundry pods and dishwater detergent and stuff like that. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I didn't address this in that video, I'm sorry. Um, originally, we weren't going to be 
um, putting these envelopes in here because mostly I get those items from Target and I have the Target debit card the, that gets you 5% off of every purchase. And so um, this is, I, I, I wasn't going to be stuffing that because, because it's a debit card and the purchases all come out of our um, banking account, our checking account. Um, I orig we originally weren't going to be stuffing these, but then I decided against that because sometimes for household and toiletries, I do pull, I do purchase some things um, in person. I'm sorry, all of it's in person. I purchase some things um, in a place where it's not Target. And so I would be able to use cash. And so we have a method, which I'll explain in my next video, um, where we can pay, where we, you know, track those expenses that happen in, that we're stuffing in cash envelopes that we use with our debit card that we just pay ourselves back to the bank. And so that will be coming up in my next video. Um, and so that was a very long rambly explanation for why I have household and toiletries in here now. And speaking of which, toiletries is going to be getting $22. And let me just check my sheet here because, okay. Um, yeah, uh, 20 and two. Okay, on to clothing. Um, let's see, what did I have earmarked for this? I found it. <laughs> 50. We're putting 50 in clothes for this week. Um, if you are new here and have missed my explanation, um, my husband and I are both tall and our kids are larger than their average peers, <laughs> their average size peers. And so they go through um, many growth spurts a year and I'm always having to buy them new clothes. I just had to buy my son new jeans, even though I bought him new jeans um, around the beginning of the school year. So this one is like an ever revolving purchase in our house. Finance coach, um, we are stuffing this with five today. And um, I did explain the finance coach um, in my last video, but it basically is a gentleman who watches the markets and recommends where to put different um, retirement funds. And so we pay him $60 a year for that service and he more than makes up for the cost of that. Okay, that is the end of our high priority sinking funds. And so now we can move on to, um, actually not holiday sinking funds, but low priority sinking funds. So let's go ahead and start with, my goodness, bending this binder so that it cooperates. And then <laughs> haircuts. We are going to be putting 20 in haircuts today. And this is for my husband, son, and daughter. Mine comes out of my own like funding and I track that. Um, work meals will not be getting anything today. This is specifically for my husband. Um, his envelope will be getting um, $50 today. This is like for his own personal spending money, but you will likely see this just build because he never ever ever spends money on anything ever <laughs> hers this is mine and it's going to be getting 25 today um and it is not because he gets more than me or anything like that i have chosen to keep some of my money in the bank currently because i am looking at um purchasing a couple things and it's just easier but then you know if i have this to spend here and there you know for I don't know. It's mostly Target that gets me every time, right? Um, um, so if I decide that I want that, um, I, I'll have it available to me. Dates is going to be getting 15. It's a 10 and a 5. And um, this is just for exactly what it sounds like. Um, every now and then, um, my husband and I actually get to go on dates with each other. And so this funds those little trips. Home is going to be getting 10. This is to fund my candle and coffee mug obsession. 
which I'm trying to limit. <laughs> uh, Dine Out is going to be getting 30 this week. We rarely do this, but we fund it for the um, random Chick-fil-A trip that we allow for our kids on a, we, we usually go about twice a month and um, they get to, they really enjoy it there. I don't get anything from there because I can't because I'm so broken, but um, my husband will sometimes, but my kids usually always want Chick-fil-A. And so we try to let them indulge every now and then and enjoy some Chick-fil-A. Miscellaneous is going to be getting 15 today. This 10 is pitiful. Do you see this? That's, ugh. Anyway. And um, House Project is not going to be getting funded and neither is Garden. And this is something that I will explain in a future video. So that is the end of our low priority sinking funds. On to holiday sinking funds and here we go. Um, let's start with gifts. Gifts is going to be getting $30. Um, we, we would normally have more, but my daughter's birthday is actually this month. And so, um, cause we have been letting it build for the last couple of months, but my daughter's birthday is this month. So we have already purchased her gift. And so that's why we're kind of like starting from scratch again in this one. And parte is also, it's getting 35. And again, it's, um, somewhat depleted just because I have been like slow stocking different, um, birthday party things for her little party that we're having this month. It's going to be a hot chocolate themed <laughs> birthday party. And so, and because she's near Valentine's day, um, I always like roll with that theme and get like valent and we are able to take advantage of all the Valentine's decorations that are hanging around. So um, that's why this one also doesn't have a significant amount of rollover, despite the fact that we've been saving for it for like two months. But anyway, that's birthday parties. Valentine's Day is getting $7. And this is the startup for our bulking for it for next year. We had $2 of rollover because um, I've already purchased all the kids, all the kids, all two of them, the kids, um, little classmate treats, and then, you know, just the little things that I buy for them for Valentine's Day. I always say Cupid came um, because I'm just that ridiculous. Anyway, so that's seven in Valentine's Day. Easter is getting 60. And again, that's because we have um, been planning for the last two months to save up for these things. And because we didn't have a whole year before us to save up for Easter, um, I took all of the money from like all of the holidays and threw them at Valentine's and Easter instead to beef up those envelopes so that they would be stuffed by the time the holiday arrived. And then from this point going forward, we'll just be stuffing it for, to make sure that we have enough for the following year. So that's why this has $60 in it. Um, vacation is not getting anything. Uh, this stuffing back to school is going to be getting $20. And this just covers school supplies because like I said, I'm kind of always buying my kids clothes throughout the year. So I don't like do like a big clothes shop right before back to school time because I'm always buying them clothes. Um, next up is Halloween and for Halloween, we are stuffing $60. And again, that was really just me trying to front load some holiday money. I realized that Halloween is like months away from us, but I just wanted to make sure that by the time we reached these months, they were like somewhat stuffed. And so that's why the bulk of it is going toward like these earlier holidays. Thanksgiving is getting 15. I messed up somehow. 
I found my error. It took me a second. So when I was doing my denomination count for um, all of this, hold on, where did it go? Um, I have, I earmarked $50, um, or what did I say? I said, I said $60 for somewhere. Oh, I think I said that I was putting 60 in Easter, but actually it was 50 and I put 60 in there. So that was my error. <laughs> I finally found it. Even though I went through all of the binders that ended up being in this last one. So getting back to it, to it um, Thanksgiving is getting $15. And oh, it's already open because I opened it. <laughs> so 10 and a five, a crumply five is going into 50, or is going into Thanksgiving. And then Christmas is going to be getting $25. It did have more, but an ornament that I really, really love fell off the tree and broke. And it was one that I actually found a replacement for on eBay. God bless eBay. So um, that depleted my Christmas fund just a touch. So it's getting $25 today. Um, and then when I was setting up my new um wallet i found zoo membership is not getting anything today um that's going to be getting stuffed at a later time um i actually found this folded up dollar bill um in my old card holder so i was super excited about that because um i am going to be the only like savings challenge that I'm participating in is the dollar bill savings challenge. So if I have any dollar bills left over in rollover um, from previous weeks, I will be saving them as in this envelope. And then just when the envelope gets really beefy, I'm gonna um, turn around and uh, decide what to put that money toward. But um, I was not expecting to have a dollar to put into the dollar challenge yet, but here we find ourselves. So. Um, go through your, your purses and wallets and bags and things, guys. You never know what you'll find. Um, so that's it. So that is it for my first cash stuffing. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. And um, I will see you guys actually later this week for a weekly check-in. I'm going to be start, I'm going to be adding those to my channel now. So you'll get two videos from me on a weekly basis now. Um, where I check in with my expenses from this week and then um, I show you how we pay ourselves back from our cash envelopes if we decide to make any online purchases or debit card purchases. So thank you again so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.